If you have separate regions, the Shape Builder tool merges them together. You can define regions and merge them together with this tool. First of all, select all the objects on the canvas using the Selection tool. Notice if you haven't made any selection, the Shape Builder tool will not work. For the paths of these illustrations to be visible, the stroke weight for each one is set to four points from the stroke panel on the right side of the screen. Now use the selection tool and drag the illustrations closer so that the different regions are next to each other. Make sure you place them in such a way that a certain portion of each illustration overlaps the other. To select multiple illustrations, press the shift key on the keyboard and click on each illustration one by one. Once done, click on the Shape Builder icon. See how a plus sign appears under the arrow now. Move the cursor on the illustration, click and drag the cursor across any two illustrations. Notice that if you try to join diagonal illustrations, you cannot. This is because it only does so if the borders of both the illustrations are overlapping or the shapes are intersecting. Merge all the shapes to form a single illustration. There are also other options present in the Shape Builder tool that you can choose from. Double click on its icon in the toolbar and the options window will pop up. You can switch on the gap detection option, which allows it to join objects that are not even touching each other. Another option below allows you to pick the color from either the artwork or the color swatches. Click on the color swatches and tick on the checkbox to preview them. Three boxes will now appear on the top of the cursor. These are the color swatches. Pressing the right key on your keyboard will shift the colors. To color your illustration, simply click on the illustration and it will be colored. An image can also be removed once it has already been merged. To do this, keep pressing the Alt key on your keyboard. When you do so, you will see that a minus sign appears below the arrow. Clicking on the illustration now removes it. 